Oh, 100% I had the better sniper shot. Uh, he, he's a great sniper shot, yeah. I remember Zill from early season three. When I first got picked up, I basically had to make a public announcement that we were doing tryouts. Um, I had played with Zill back then in season three, and then he just kept really consistent. A lot of players um, would basically play the game for like a season, and then they would get like lazy. Zill never did that. He was always consistent through every season, even season one. I probably saw Hogman for the first time in, uh, in Friday Fortnite, I think. And then uh, eventually, through like pro discords or whatever, we just do and things worked out. We played really well together and uh, we've been killing it. Uh, we're here at the media day at WSOE, or hosted by WSOE. We're about to get some lunch and then head to practice. Did you get your package? Front desk didn't know where it was, so they said to come back in three to five minutes. Signed my contract last night. I got the about to do the uh, the media day, so that's going to be interesting. And then we got the, the finals tomorrow, so looking forward. Getting some food here. I'm just getting some. Food. I don't need pork because that's that's my my kin. <laughs> There's a lot of big names here. Um, I think the biggest names are probably going to be coming from Ghost and FaZe. We all play against each other all the time because like, Fortnite is a game where we literally have to rely on our opponents being very good to get good practice. So like, all of us here have all played against each other. Thanks everybody for coming. Uh, welcome to WSOE 3 featuring Fortnite. Uh, congrats to all of you who have qualified or have been invited to come. We're super excited. What are you doing for your walkout, Hogman? Smile and wave, dude. Smile and wave. Not doing anything cringy. Like a princess. That's the mistake. <laughs> Everyone always does something cringy and not doing it. So the WSOE Pro AM is on a different format. It's on the format that we used to play, the, the uh, format for pub games. For the epic ran modes or in the tournaments and all that, usually it's like you have to reach a certain amount of kills or a certain placement in order to get any points at all. Otherwise, you would get zero. Uh, for this tournament, it's different. So basically, if you are the first team to die, you get zero points. But if you're 49 through 41st in the teams, you get 10 points. And then it, it scales up to 100 points. And you kind of like accumulate points throughout the match. And also, every kill is worth 10 points. If you pop off, every kill matters. And that's something that we haven't really seen before. Just trying to get all of our equipment set up since we're not allowed to really tomorrow. We're trying to do it today. Play like this? Yeah. If they put it on a monitor arm, that would make this perfect. That would make this a perfect setup. Yeah, because then you'd have like more like space to go. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, you'd be able to play like this. Yeah. What's your thoughts on the boombox? I don't know, just another chaotic item that they added on the day of a tournament. Just typical epic things, I don't know. Typical epic. Yeah, it's uh, like people, it's probably a big controversy, but to us it's just like the norm now, honestly. Yeah. We just have to expect like something silly to come out the day of a tournament. Good morning eSports fans, we're here live from Manhattan Beach, California for the latest installment of the World Showdown of eSports and the game we have for you today, it's only the most popular video game in the world, it is of course Fortnite. 100 players split into 50 duo teams will duke it out for $100,000 in front of this live studio audience. So let's pull those rip cords, jump out of the battle bus, and let's float on down to WSOE3. Yeah, we got our hand warmers, we got our Red Bull, got all of our own peripherals, fresh res. I mean, we really couldn't ask for anything else. So shout out to WSOE for allowing all this. Today, everything we ask for, we get. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's really nice. The sauce complexity augment. And the new announcement that came out today, Zill gets picked up by Complexity, a major organization in North America. Going up in the world, got that Dallas Cowboys ownership <laughs> going on. I'm Your telling you, spending hey, coming that home, money. Coming from my home, spending man, that money. You, if there was money to put a lot, I'd be putting on my boys right here from Dallas. Complexity really is going up. Hodman has shown over and over from the original summer skirmish that this is where he's meant to be. It is now time to get into the game. The first match here at WS.
SOE3. The battle bus is loaded. The island is ready. It's time to drop. We were we were 31st, so there was at least like 16 teams. So we played for high ground, we took high ground, but I guess we should play for mid ground because the boom boxes just break everything. We died to fall damage. So we died to fall damage because we couldn't understand what was going on. So uh, for next game we're gonna we're gonna play mid ground. See what happens there. Oh, this is not looking good for TSM. Case is gonna try to hold this one out. Wow, if Zill comes in and takes this down right here, it's all him. It's a free Elon. Oh right my there. word. It gets taken out, just takes massive fall damage on the what fall there. What happened there? It's Case it up to defend by himself Case with the storm wing. Plus Zill, just not enough. And Zill's gonna go down at uh, Hogman here now, who's diving in at super aggressive. We decided to play very passive in the first few games, and that led to us not getting kill points. We only got placement points. In our first game, whenever we ended up, uh, we saw Myth, he died off fall damage. Uh, we pushed him, we killed Kaysid, and then another team pushed us, and we had to burn all of our mats and all of our shield, and then uh, we ended up just not getting very many points from that game because we took a mid-game fight that wasn't very favorable, and then got unlucky after that. We, uh, we realized after like game three, game four, that we needed to play aggressive at like a mid to late game and get those, those picks with uh, just, just aim and, and spray anyone down that's getting pinched or, or pushed in by zone. Yeah. and get those early game picks because uh, they're super important. I think it was just a matter of like understanding what the tournament needed. I mean, we were playing on a format that we haven't played on in several months. We're going to go back and practice aggression more. Um, we're going to be getting more kills. I, I think that there's a bright future for us. I think we're going to be able to kill it. It's just a matter of more practice and more understanding of how the formats and the tournament formats factor into um, our placements. So we're, we're definitely we're definitely not going to give up. We're going to keep practicing. We're going to do better in more tournaments in the future. So be sure to keep a lookout for Cool Fortnite because we've got a lot of really cool stuff in store and hope to see you guys all there being out there to support us. So see you guys. Adios. Thank you very much for watching this Fortnite video. Be sure to follow our team by subscribing to the Complexity channel. You can also leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and a comment down below with what you thought of the video and we'll see you guys next time.